Hi. Hey, hey. Hi, DJ. How are you? I'm great. What about you? Good, good. Thank you. So, what have you done today? We well, mainly prepared uh, three pieces. I relearned the... Um... Okay. So, the Mozart Sonata and the Chopin Waltz. Okay, very good. And what and else? Tuba. And one more, to, one more piece, you said? The Machuca. Okay, very good. Okay, so uh, let's start with Mozart then. You know? Okay. Give me a second because it's been a while since we've done this. Uh, let me see. Okay, let me, okay. What's the question number? Do you know? Yeah, it's a uh, 309. 309. It's on page 100, I think. Okay, I have a different edition of that. Okay. <coughs> I'm gonna turn on original sound. Okay. Yeah, turn the original sound. Go ahead. Right, yeah. Okay.
question for you do you have uh, arpeggiations in like a do you have like arpeggio signs in your edition okay. you have like these squeakly lines on some octaves and stuff like this or are you doing them on your own those like you know when you have chords and stuff like this or octaves sometimes you do you have the do you have arpeggiation sign In what parts? Everywhere. I, I see you playing, for example, like things like this, you know, you, know, you, you break some chords. Do you have any signs in your edition or not? No, right? Okay, oh, so we have- Sometimes over, on the side of, on the left side of the chord sometimes? Yeah. Yeah, I see those. Okay, so we're going to go over those and you tell me where you have them because, uh, yeah, sometimes there are, but in a lot of places there are and you are doing some, so we have to fix that, okay? Right. Yeah, there are some, there's a few places where there is a PGation, but there are some others that there, are, there isn't one, so, you know, we have to make sure that you don't add those on your own, okay? So um, in the beginning was very, all is very good. We have to refine a few things and, and make sure that you do the right things, okay? So um, this figure became better as you kept playing. So, so in the beginning it was kind of wishy-washy and a little bit rushed. Make sure that it's you see, can you do that for me? Yeah. Um, okay, so the, the secret here is don't, don't make the F kind of up in the air. Make it the, so not, you, you get jumpy there with your body and, every, and something happens there and you go, you go, there is no reason. Stay there. See here how quietly I'm doing it. Show me. No, don't go to the beginning. Only this. Just imitate what my hands are doing. See, see where my fingers are. See what I'm doing with my hands and imitate it. Exactly. Exactly. So no more, no more uh, fussing with your body and all that stuff. Okay. It's it's a very it's a sensitive figure, and you have to be there quiet here. Okay. Now join it with the beginning and don't go crazy when you go to it. Okay. I see you doing, I still see you doing. I think you are trying to count the second beat. I understand what you are doing. A little bit with your body. <laughs> I see, I'm exaggerating, you are not doing as much. But I want to see. For example, 
Fauzi. Ya, Bravo. You understand? Hmm? So, welcome to that so that it's completely quiet and nice and understand and comfortable. Okay. Um, continue. Tam It's two notes on measure uh, six. six. Huh? Yeah. So yeah, exactly, exactly. So those are nice and distinct and together. I hear both of them. Continue. And here the left hand can be known like a pam 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 and don't mix any pedal. Continue. Yeah, uh, there is more time there. Yeah. Yeah, Seventeen, the left hand. Careful. Tell me the notes you have in the left hand, one by one. Uh, yeah. So you are not doing A. If you are doing C, which comes later, is the second variation, but comes three measures afterwards. It has to be A in the left hand in the first. So make sure that that is not. That's that's later. You understand? Okay. That's in measure 20. So in measure 70, make sure that you play the right notes in the left hand. So basically you have, do you know what chord you have there? You have there in C major, you have the second chord, the second triad in first inversion. Do you understand that? It's an NDFA chord inverted. It's a two six. One six four five. Understand? Okay. The second beat is rushed because you are using it. Don't use pedal in the sixteenth notes. Tara, you are rushing the so practice. Make sure you hear everything without pedal. Yes. Make the stack cut. Yes. yes. That's it. Ah, wait a second. Um, the, the last E is tied with the is tied with the next measure. No, so this is this one is different. It's not staccato. It's da 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 pa da da da. You understand? Measure twenty, uh, nineteen and twenty, right? Yeah. 
That, uh, I was talking about measure 20, exactly. So that the transition between 19 and 20 is just the E, right? That's it, that's it. The transition between 19, uh, 19 and 20 has to be like, uh, tied. <laughs> You don't have to over accent it. Just go normal. Don't over, don't overdo the accent. Om. No, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are banging it a little that e. Look at my hands. Do that for me. Okay. Can you can you join? Uh, stay on the stay on the G. They make the G legato with the. Yes. Okay, can you give me less E at the end? Yes. Continue. Now, I don't like the pedal at the very end. You're doing pedal there in the end. Okay. It's not advisable. It's better to continue clean, like without pedal. It is a pop, pop, it's like a strings. Pop, 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 you understand what I mean? It's like violin. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Make sure that we hear the in-between note. Make sure we hear the in-between note, the 16. Not too, not too short, not too this short. This one's back your 60, uh, 31, right? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Oh. So here the notes are different. In the left hand, the, the fourth beat, you need to don't hold, don't hold that quarter note. It's a quarter note. Don't hold it for the entire. It's, don't hold it. Don't make it a half note. You understand? Okay. Okay. No, no. Listen to me. Do you have arpeggio there? Tell me, do you have arpeggiation there? No, I don't have it. So that's what I meant. So play oh. those together. Okay. This passage is good, but no 
no pedal, please. So it sounds a little bit too like Rachmaninoff almost. Like, you understand? And it's good. It's impressive what you are doing, but it's, you are going from one century to another century. You are jumping through centuries, you understand? So we need a little bit more compact sound. Do you understand? Do you know, know the word compact? It's, it's forte, but it's not, it's not booming, you understand? <laughs> I think you are changing something, my friend. Again, you are becoming a composer. Oh. Yeah. You are making it to suit your own needs, you understand? <laughs> it's easier, right? It's easier, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So you, if you are very agile with your foot, you can do like put your foot on the pedal and go pim pam, very. And bravo! If you are able to lift it immediately and not hold it too long, you can get away with a little bit of pedal. And actually, it's a good thing when you use it like this. You understand? Yeah, exactly. You take more time. It's a little bit more. And again, don't hold the pedal so much. So, so there's a little bit of separation. Exactly. Do you understand? Yeah. Go on. You are getting it. You are doing very well, by the way. Very, very nice. Yeah. yeah um, uh, I want to warn you about something. When you play those half notes, those loud half notes, like a forte, you have a tendency to make them a little bit too short. It should, they should be in between them. There should be one quarter note. Make sure that you don't go faster in the in those half notes. Your triam, bam, bam, bada bam. Feel it, triam, bam. Feel this, yum, shim, shim. You understand? <laughs> You are, you are in between what you did two ver two different versions and the truth is in between those two versions the first one you cut them too short the second one you kept them too long between those two is the truth yeah. 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 okay here Make sure that the, you do very well, actually. I like the, your tone. Make sure that this. So it's not. It's not that. It's, see what Mozart wrote there? It's very agile. It's a 16th note. It should be a 16th note. It was sort of the trill like this. Or yeah, even closer. See, the first note is short. And... Yes, Pablo. Now, can you just slow it in? Let's do something like yoga, okay? Still like yoga. <laughs> yeah. Now you are doing you are, you are doing piano yoga now. <laughs> Bravo, you are very good at yoga. <laughs> so 
crisis is like this. It doesn't take, it, it will take a little bit of patience to make it just right, okay? okay. So, and then put it together in this way. Make sure to play it after the second G. And don't rush the trill in your practicing. Understand? Don't, don't rush that, that G in your practicing. Can you, can you show me slowly? Just very calmly, please. divide like this now you are you are being before it goes better believe believe it or not it was better so it should be five notes equal so don't rush it too much play yes I was, I was. so go back to your tape to, to this tape and see how you did this time okay okay all right Go on now. You are, you haven't got to do it right in, in five seconds. So move on, and we have got to practice. Okay? We go to a orchestrally to the full orchestra. Warm, warm, warm. That D sharp has to be is the is the bottom of a, a, a very tragic and emotionally charged diminished chord. See, when Mozart writes diminished chords are very, very, very disturbing. You understand? Very austere. You understand? So that D sharp needs to have a little bit more sound if you want to showcase the diminished chord, the fully diminished chord. You, you understand the diminished chord, right? You understand the fully diminished chord, right? Now, yes. Yeah. That's, that chord in Mozart is very, very significant. You understand? Yeah. Okay, so can you go back to 76 and um, bada bam? Bam, bada bam, bam. Hold it too much, it's one quarter, no more. Can you play this once more because I hear some extra notes? No, go to the measure 79, please. Problem it was was be, between measure you probably you did it unconsciously, but it was between measure eighty and eighty. Why you are you are that you may you didn't go to a see Mozart skips one, so he skips he skips the C D sharp. You did you added you added one for Mozart. <laughs> You gave him one yourself, okay? Uh, uh, DJ, Mozart doesn't need two extra notes from you. He's got enough. Okay, ha 
Do you have arpeggios there? Do you have, do you have arpeggios? Yeah. Okay, then do them. I don't have those arpeggios, but okay, it's, we are fine. Riam, I like them. Riam, riam. Yeah, make sure. I don't miss the last two. And don't rush them because you want to go, you want to skip to the hype and you rush them. Finish. Yes. And then, and then a little bit more contra them. See, piano, he goes to piano. The two, the two uh, work on the half notes because again they need a little bit more time. And can we do? Can we do an exercise? And and can you say end? No, you got a little bit more time. And 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 and. So do this exercise where you say and, 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 but say it out loud. Don't say and, and, and go play again. Do you have chords on like, does your score like this? Yeah, and if you are using pedal, which is good, take it off. So take it off because they are not, they should be, that's what you are giving me. And I want to hear. Yes, you understand. I want them. I want them a little bit portato. You understand? Long, but but not really. I don't want them like this. I want it ram, pam, pam, bada bam. Okay. You understand, my friend? Yes. Which is a combination of using your using your pedal, but the cleaning it off and then putting it again on the second one and also feeling the three, um, three, three, um, three. You understand what I mean? Okay, yeah. go on. Don't slow down. You are, because you are changing position, you have the tendency to make it a little bit over a centimeter. It's not the style. <laughs> Isn't the phrasing like this? Good, good question. Good question because Mozart wrote forte piano. Okay, so the E flat has to have the um, that accent, but not for the. No, they are not all. Not all. No. Yeah, and then after you, you did very well, excellent, bravo. But then at the end, don't slow down. Not all. Not all. Are you play from a 
measure one, one ten again. And make sure that you don't rush the three notes. Make sure you don't rush those. Do you have in the last eighth note of measure 122? Do you have sharp or is it natural? I have natural. I have a D there. Not... Okay, so in Make sure that you play the right note there, okay? See, uh, you are doing, you are transferring, because you have a very good ear, you are transferring um, what you have in measure 20. Go back to measure 29. You see what, how different that is? Mm. See, there Mozart raises the feet. Um, this is the dominant of the fourth degree. Mm -hmm. Understand? But Mozart raises the, the, the form. So makes it chromatic. He makes it what we call a chromatic note. You know what a chromatic note is, right? Exactly. So instead of having this chord, he does this. But in the other, in the, later on, when he brings it back where we are right now, he doesn't do the same thing, you understand? But because you have an ear that adjusts things to your own liking, you are transferring things from previous versions to next, to the, or comes after. Okay, so I told you that you are a reincarnation of a 19th century pianist, right? Yeah. Yeah. So back then in the 19th century, it was very acceptable actually to do these kinds of things. To your credit, actually. <laughs> Not anymore though, okay? You understand what I mean? Okay. So, um, and I'm sure that the composer would have preferred that the pianist, no matter what century he's living, <laughs> stuck to his own version, you understand? So if you ask Mozart what he prefer, pianists today who play more precisely with the, the, the way he wanted or pianists in the 90s, I suspect that he would say pianists too, at least for the notes part, you understand? Wait, what was that? I think I played it correctly. I just had a, I think that specific time I messed up on. But I normally play it like this. No, the problem, my friend, was not in your left hand, it was in the right hand. Oh, wait, let me see. That, that last D, you understand? You are doing a sharp. Yes. You may not have noticed it because you, you are using your ear, but you are playing in D. No, 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 no. Uh, look, we're on measure 122, the last, the last eighth note of measure 122 in the oh, right hand. Okay, okay. You are doing, uh, maybe subconsciously, you know, it, you are transferring to do, we are making a D sharp, which is exactly what you have earlier, you understand? Okay, so I thought I was playing this. You are not, you are not playing that. Okay. You understand? 
Okay, so let's go back to 122 now and play with the right D. Careful. Measure, tell me what you have in measure 124 in the left hand. Oh, you have that? Okay, I have a different version. Okay. Okay, I see you have it. Okay, okay, all right. I see that there's an alternative version. Okay, I have the alternative version. Okay, okay, good. Okay, good. You're fine. Better now, taram, taram. it was a little bit more con precisely, taram. not too fast, taram. Taram, taram. Taram, taram, taram. and here, here I would phrase taram, 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 taram. because you see the idea is taram, 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 taram. do that with me. How they do That's it. Arpeggio there, don't do the arpeggio. You don't published this piece there are many different versions of it right yeah yes and no um they don't deviate too much from the original uh because you see he used uh back then it was the habit to copy his music from his manuscripts before sending it to different publishers you understand so each each copier <laughs> copied a little bit differently and sometimes they added their own taste but it was pretty much in in in, Moz, in, in Mozart's taste you understand now, is there like a version with the Mozart's original version yeah I mean you have to get an edition my friend like this what is this is this is like a very authentic edition you might if you want to have your dad purchase this edition. It's not something that you can download online, unfortunately. Okay. Is it, is I can write to you. I, is that what you can? Oh, that's very authentic. Okay. You got, you got the best of the best. Well, I think you I think you recommended it to. Yeah, I, 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 I thought so, but I wasn't sure because sometimes, you know, I have you go to an MLP library and all that stuff, but for this one, I, yeah, yeah, everything that you have there is very authentic. More than the, actually more than the one that I have here because I'm using a different one. So all the things that you've done, if they are written in your edition, they are super, the closest possible to what Mozart wanted, okay? Okay. Okay, so you are you are you are in good shape there in terms of edition. Okay, bravo. Okay, you are doing very well actually, and and you are very attentive today. I noticed that. Thank you. Is that because you have a recital coming up? Yeah. 
Okay, so I want you to be always like this, not only when you have some coming upcoming thing, you know, if you if you are always like this, be fantastic, okay? Okay. Because <laughs> yeah, I, I I I grant you though you feel motivated today, right? You feel very, very motivated. And I like that. It's okay to be motivated. Okay. So what are you playing now? Um I can play the Chopin waltz. I fixed some of the notes again. You said the mazurka before. You, you now you changed to the waltz? Both. We're doing both. Okay. Why don't we do why don't we do the mazurka? Okay. I like your feeling of this. Your heart really feels this piece. Okay. But we got a little bit of tweaking to do, some adjustments to do, because you went back to change some of your triplet rhythms. You remember you yeah. we talked about those tri triplets and you are making them, you are changing them completely. So basically what you some you do, and there is not that. You remember when we talked? Mm, you need to really learn and pay attention to make it an even triplet. Huh? Can you do that? Don't do the beginning, only. O only this I want to hear. No, see, you didn't hear, well, you didn't really listen to what I said. Don't do the first note, only. Just carefully that. Exactly. Now adding the first note, because that's the problem, that's where your problem is when you add the first note, uh, you suddenly change that. See my hand. Yes. Now can Make sure that those are con as connected as possible. Uh, use your flexibility, look. Okay, I see my friend, you are using five five, right? You cannot stretch, can you stretch? Can you Bravo. I think your hand, as long as you feel comfortable, as long as you don't have any pain in your hand when you do the F sharp with the fourth finger, use the fourth finger. Okay. Bravo. I think your your hand now is growing a little bit from when I got you as a student. I think if you can do that without any pain. Okay. okay. Does it feel comfortable? Yeah, it doesn't feel anything. Bravo. If you use the, uh, if you go like this with your, uh, Thing. 
stop. In when you go from the B to the A sharp, are you crossing the second finger above the? Don't let the B go. This hold, go over with the second. So connect that B. Only two Ds. Not you are adding something more. I don't know what you are doing there. I think oh, you are adding more. I had a different rhythm though. I had that. Yes. So in this part, in the first measure, we only have. You see, let the phrase, every one of those phrases has a mood, and the mood changes with every new phrase, but before the phrase, it doesn't change. So, you to exaggerate and do what I did. You see, I stayed in the phrase, take some time. So um, that's a good way to practice. So, so go. Finish there, stay. And then change completely inside you. You are giving because you want to go to the fourth day, your last note of the free asterisk becomes fair. Listen what you are doing. That's what you, you understand. That's the idea. Now it's a little bit too overdone. <laughs> a little bit too overdone. I mean, yeah, you're in the right track in terms of making this emotional distinction between one phrase that is very pleading. You understand where we're probably You understand them? Yeah. You can get in front of a mirror, in front of your Zoom and do those faces and sing those like I do, that will help you. You don't need to do it now because it's a little bit, you know, personal. <laughs> but if you, if you can make faces, makes that hari da da then get, you understand what I mean? Yeah. It's a good exercise, seriously. Okay, because this, this piece is very particular, it's like, it's like two different persons in one piece. Yeah. They have to co coexist, you understand? It's a, a very sensitive person, a very austere, kind of like, you know, tough person, you understand? And the two of them have to coexist. <laughs> okay, my friend. The, um, okay, so work on that, okay? And you are always make sure that you are triple. I like the feeling you are giving there, but we, you remember what we discussed about the mazurka? What is the mazurka? It's a dance. It's a dance. So there are people supposedly imagine, it's like imaginary, uh, that are supposedly dancing. <laughs> you understand what I mean? Uh, so the mazurkas of Chopin are not really to be danced in the, on, on, 
in a social dance. They are, they are not meant to be danced. But with this being said, there should be the sense of dance. So what you're doing this is very, very nice, but you're going in these phrases that you feel so much. You're going crazy so that the, 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 the dancers cannot follow you, you understand? Yeah. Because you start, you understand what I mean? So between what you are feeling and what you are doing has to be more balanced because of the dances. Can you go to this phrase? So start rhythmic, almost rhythmic. And don't go too fast. Understand? That was very good. And in the end, balance it. Instead of going even faster, because you see, you sped up a little bit. That was very good speeding up. I very gradually, you need to, you have to balance it with, with stretching it, with slowing down at the end, not going further. You see, don't continue there, the speeding up because you throw everybody else off, everybody else, yeah? Yes, yes. Then everybody catches their breath and they are able to follow. Otherwise, everybody's following all the, all the, the men, you know, the followers follow the leaders and, you know, and all the stuff. You know? yeah. It's a mess. <laughs> okay, continue. <laughs> Take a big a bit. Take the pedal off. It's, we are starting a new phrase, mm, mm, and it's a little bit more time. Mm, mm. There's a new phrase there. You understand? Chopin wrote it there. Hey, can you do this experiment with me? Mm. Let me see you doing this. Mm. Yes, and then and then give me the Asha. Mm. Let me hear. Bravo. Now, of course, it's a little bit too much. That was very good. In the second time, we can also, you are using it very nicely the rubato and you change it. I love the way you do this phrase. There's one more means that you can use the pedal to change the second. Can you do this? 
can you, mm, I know Chopin wrote pedal pedal in every measure, but can you do a little bit? One of them, make it maybe. Mm, As a, as a means as a means of changing the mood but not all the time i like the long pedals there maybe once or twice you can find where you can give a little bit more playful type of sound there you understand you can play a little bit with it okay okay uh finish it please -na 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 Very good. And I want you to practice. You remember we, when we talked about the second voice, the alto voice in the right? Mm -hmm. Can you play in this tempo? Slow down and show me those. those remember what we call those? nose, those dirty nose, like those, those kind of, what do we call those? Like a dissonant? They are dissonances, they are also suspension. No, no, if they begin, start from here and without too much pedal, or use the pen and change it. Come in. No, okay, so I want you to practice in this way. We have dissonance, and this the next note is the what we call resolution. Remember this, 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 <laughs> this terms I'm giving you dissonance resolution. So, in, in right from the beginning of the phrase, we have this, this thing. So the second beat anymore, the third. Can you show me this? Mm -hmm. You are doing it instinctively, but I want you to be more aware of it. Mm -hmm. Can you show me that slowly? Yeah, it was better, but I want more of that. Yeah. The second beat is a little bit more there. Give me the idea here, the D, the whole juice, the juice of the sound there is that D, you understand? No, more. Maybe it's the zoom, but I think you can do. to go back and practice this slowly and very sensitively so you can hear. I want you to hear that very inside you, inside your soul, you understand? Yeah. Not, not to please me, but to feel what Chopin wrote there, you understand? Yeah. Okay, my friend, you're doing very well. The Yoshi Mazurka is good. You need to work on your rhythms. Remember to finish your phrases in the same kind of sound and same same mood and change suddenly. Okay, don't change before. So those are things that you have to work on your own. Okay, and and using okay. your own understanding and exaggerating a little bit and then you understand. Yeah. Very good. So we didn't have time for the walls, but I will hear it next week. Okay. How about that? Yeah. Okay. 
You did very well. Thank you. Okay, I, I'm going to stop the recording and I will talk to you about it a little bit more. Okay.